It's freaky. Oh my goodness. Phones for you. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be watching and reacting to the video Top 10 Most Controversial UK TV Adverts. So one, it's called adverts over there. Here you just say advertisements or ads. Uh, we don't, we don't uh, shorten it to adverts, so that's just kind of one fun difference between the two of us. I'm not even sure what to expect. Controversial, so there's gonna be probably some not fun things to watch in here that might be scary or messed up or, or like too over the top. So just warning just in case. I don't know exactly what's on here, but I mean, just, just from the title, I'm assuming that. And even down to our sense of humor is is different. So it's gonna be interesting to see from my point of view and just to let you know what, what I think and if there's anything that like maybe maybe it's off for you as well. Maybe it's strange for people of other countries as well and maybe more normal for some. So it'll be kind of interesting to see and, and compare that. So I know we have some some weird ones here. I know a huge difference between the, our two countries and, and just Europe in general. We have in the US a lot of drug commercials, a lot of, you know, take these pills or, or check with your doctor with this. That's so common. Every, every time you have the TV on, you're then be pummeled by those. So that's one big difference here. You guys would most definitely find it strange. Just, just another fun difference between the two. So let, let's see uh, what this is all about. Warning just in case. For our first one, number 10, bar. Pot noodle, 2005, complaints 620 for some viewers found the advertisement to be crude, tasteless, or offensive. So once again, don't know what this is gonna be about. <laughs> What is that? Whoa. Nothing. Tom, have you got the pot noodle horn? Of course not. Let me see. Get off, you maniac! What can this even be about? Okay, I have got the pot noodle horn. It's big and brassy, and I'm going to blow it. Tom! No time for chit chat, Whoa. baby. My pot noodle horn is angry like a snake. Sorry about that. Oh, mate, we all get the pot noodle horn sometimes. Have you got the pot noodle horn? Um, thoughts about that one? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's that bad at all, but yeah, that's that's something where definitely, something like that would never be shown here in the US as, as far as I know. I've never seen anything along those lines, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe that's that's more normal there. I don't know. I think it's weird to everyone. That's why it's on this compilation. Oh, wait, little girl, let's see, viewers, offensive, irresponsible, and unduly distressing. So, all right, prepare yourselves. Has more complaints than the previous ones. Already terrifying. It's Hello. freaky. The Samsung Toco icon is only $59.95 on pay as you Oh go. my goodness. Phones for you. Missing our tails will haunt you. Kind of amusing. Um, uh, some people don't like scary films at all, for example, or scary shows. I've watched a lot of them, so that was kind of amusing to me. But who would watch that advertisement and be like, all right, don't, don't miss deals. They're going to haunt me. I better get on it. Maybe it works, and maybe with the UK audience, it would uh, be better. But yeah, here, once again, that's, that's like a little, probably a little too much. I don't know. They censor a lot here. Reason. Parents complained the ad was graphic, frightened their children, and made them feel sick. So how would it, like, I don't know. How does it even make you feel sick just like over the top in that way? And just, we'll find out. Let's go. Let's do this. Number eight, dog breath. How does it make you feel sick? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, 
Whoa, Excellent. that was a close one for that guy. So is that a thing over there? Dog breath? I've never heard of that term before. I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of common sense to know what it means, but we don't, I've never really heard that term used. So let me know if that's a thing over there. Dog breath, like, oh, you have dog breath, have some mints or have some gum, something like that. Let me know. That was a l little odd, that's for sure. Department of Hurt, Department of Health, 2007. Viewers complained the ad was offensive, frightening, and distressing, particularly to the children. So let's let's uh, let's see. Department of Health. Fine. Brilliant. All right, I'll see Already you on the, uh, on the 9th. Okay, bye. The average smoker so needs over 5,000 cigarettes uh. a year. Get unhooked. Call 0800 169 0169 or visit getunhooked.co.uk. Yeah, those smoking commercials are, uh, I mean, they're, they're meant, that, that's like the purpose of them, right? Just to kind of frighten children so they don't, so they don't smoke and uh kind of force adults to all right maybe maybe this will be i don't know we ours are pretty crazy here too they're indifferent and i guess upsetting like there's one old woman back our older woman when i was uh, younger and she would be smoking from her neck because it just burned a hole or something they, they had to like open her throat up because it damaged her too much and she was still extremely hooked to it so addicted to it so i just remember smoking from her neck hole so that was way worse than this one, in my opinion, because it's like a real thing. This one was just like strange. A lot of kind of scary, weird advertisements so far, or adverts. All right, so number six, break the cycle. Getting up there in complaints, too. Viewers found the ad upsetting and not suitable for children who would be watching. We're not children, so let's do this. Well, maybe you are. I don't know. <laughs> Is she addicted to something? Yeah, they've let you out again, have they? You worthless little cat. Ugh. Come on in. Check the sleeves. I, I don't know what it says, all right? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Mom, you <laughs> You worthless little cow. Check the sleeves. I, I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Give me the money! This little cat. Worthless. It says 20 quid. Worthless. It says 20 quid. Worthless. 20 quid. Wow, that was uh that was horrible. I mean I get what the advertisement's going for. But yeah, it's just, uh, that, that one's probably my least favorite so far. It's the worst one, in my opinion. I wouldn't necessarily complain about it. But yeah, if my children were watching that, I get what the ad's for. But yeah, that, that's, that's kind, of, uh, kind of a lot. Bedtime story. Maybe it's a happier one, but it's probably not because we're on this uh, controversial one. So I take that back. So the reason is that it's misleading and scaremongering exaggerating the likelihood of uh, and impact of extreme weather conditions. Interesting, okay. Okay. Don't know what this will be about. There was once a land where the weather was very, very strange. There were awful heat waves in some parts oh. and in others, terrible storms and floods. Scientists said it was being caused by too much CO2 which went up into the sky when the grown-ups used energy. They said the CO2 was getting dangerous. Its effects were happening faster than they had thought. Some places could even disappear under the sea, and it was the children of the land who'd have to live with the horrible consequences. The grown-ups realized they had to do something. They discovered that over 40% of the CO2 was coming from ordinary everyday things like keeping houses warm and driving cars. 
which meant if they made less CO2, maybe they could save the land for the children. Is there a happy ending? Well, that was pretty good. I, I don't see necessarily what's so bad about it. Depending on what you feel about those topics anyways, it's just like overly, like, I don't know. If my kid was watching that one, I'd be like, oh, you know, it's a, it's a little story and uh, just, just think, what do you think about it? Looked like the little city underwater was like Venice or something. That's what I always think of when you think of like sea levels rising or, or bigger storms and stuff. All right, engineer for number four. We're getting to the top three. Volks, Volkswagen, 2008. Wow. Viewers complained that the advert was too violent to be shown before 9 p.m. A Volkswagen commercial not, not too long ago that was violent? And just be thinking, like, just try to think, I'm watching an advertisement. What, what, what does this make you feel? And would you buy their product? Or what do you think of their product after this? I mean, these guys, these, these commercials cost so much money. What, what are they trying to make you feel? Are they building their brand? Are they, what, what kind of connection are they, are they building or want you to build with them? Or are they just trying to sell their vehicle? Hello. possibly happen. Okay. Ich singe keine Melodien. Ich singe 1 2 3 4. Ich singe keine Melodien. Ich singe 1 2 3 4. I like it. Sing a kind of melody. Sing a high five right here! Sing a kind of car parts. Sing a high five right here! Sometimes, the only one you have to beat is yourself. Dasado. What did you think about that? I thought that was pretty good. That's probably my favorite one. If that was on TV here, yeah, I totally would have flown. But I think, I think uh, the U.S. is very, like, uh, violence is very, it's a much more accepted thing. That doesn't sound right. Doesn't sound right at all. We're just so used to it, I feel like, on our, our television and our movies and shows. There's just so much like fighting, hand to hand, or gunfighting, whatever it is. And it's just so kind of like a, a normal thing. Not in a real life type of uh, scenario, but just that's kind of what we're used to and we kind of grew up on. So it's not really shocking to us. So overall, it reminded me of something like a, a Matrix situation with, uh, I think it's Mr. Smith or something like that was the, the bad guy that could like duplicate himself. Reminded me of that. And there's, you know, the hand-to-hand -hand fighting and using whatever around them. I like the backgrounds. And uh, th their message was good. They are saying they're the best so that you have to like beat the best. What was that car? car? The Gulf is beating their best and they just have to, you know, keep beating themselves. And that's what it kind of portrayed. So I liked it. I thought it made sense. But let me know what you think. Number three, here we go, late. Over a thousand complaints, so let's see what this says. Viewers suggested that this advert promoted abortion. Oh, okay, well, well, let's see. Promoted abortion. Oh boy, here we go, a sad one.
If you're late for your period, you could be pregnant. If you're pregnant and not sure what to do, Mari Stopes International can help. Okay, well, I don't know exactly what that company does. Maybe they do that that abortion thing. I don't I don't really know. So I can't really like for all I know, they could be helping people prepare to have the kid. I don't know. I, I'm not sure exactly what the company does. If they're known for that, yeah, they'd probably absolutely be promoting that um, cuz it's their business. But if not, cuz I don't know what they do, I can't really react to that. They could be doing anything. I don't know, but this is uh, number two, close to number one. Blind football, here we go. Patty Power 2010 complaints 1300. Viewers complained the ad was offensive to blind people and could promote animal cruelty. Okay, prepare yourselves. Here we go. Paddy Power can't get Tiddles back. There's nothing we can do about that. But we can get you your money back with our money back specials. Check them out before you bet at Aww. paddypower.com. That was strange. I don't really know, once again, how to react to that one. Offensive to blind people? I don't know. I guess it could be considered. It could be considered anything, I guess. Um, poor cat, though, right? And... Uh, now they need the uh, fire department to get the cat out of the tree. So on that note, we're here at number one. Let's see what the number one most complained about one is about. Six, almost 1,700 complaints. KFC, 2005, mouthful. I wonder what, how can a KFC commercial, well, I guess, I guess they could do anything like that, uh, the Volkswagen one, but I didn't find, I, I found that one entertaining. Hopefully this is along the same lines, but being complained the most, probably not. So viewers complained this advert could encourage bad manners among children. Okay, see, see, if, uh, see if you agree with this. Could this, for your children or if you had kids, or if you as you as a kid, would this promote or encourage bad manners in you? Let's find out. Let's find out, KFC. Very weird, but entertaining. I don't know. The new Zilla Pot Salad is the Zoo's Hasty. And there you go. Yeah, I did not think that one was, you know, to, to be complained about. I mean, manners and kids? I mean, I guess, of course, you're, you're doing multiple things that aren't quite uh, following good manners and that you're t talking in with your mouth very full and then you're shoving more in having conversations with multiple people choking hazards i mean yeah i would never complain but uh yeah that's that's apparently controversial i could see it but it's also fine i don't know i guess the main question is to you would be which one did you find either not offensive at all or not not controversial at all you would have let it fly and not think anything of it like maybe even your favorite one and then which one would you definitely not want to see on tv which one is the worst for you or your kids whatever just just being on tv in general so best and worst i, I want to know and uh maybe i'm wrong with the the ones that i didn't think were that bad perhaps they I'm missing something, it's very possible. Overall, I didn't think the KFC one was bad. Volkswagen was pretty entertaining to me. But there were some of those that were like creepy. I think it was number two with that girl, um, the, the scary girl going, kind of spooking that woman all around. And then there's like maybe two other ones that are like, eh, that, that would not be fun to see um, as an advertisement on your television. So let me know, best, worst, funny, horrible, never show on TV. Did you actually see any of these on TV when you're watching? So I want to hear it all and we'll get into discussion. I like these. I like this different way of seeing commercials because it's a, a different audience anywhere in the world. Like if I looked at 
you know, for example, advertisements in Japan or in whatever, Germany and Italy, uh, Canada. So they would be all different, which is very entertaining, very interesting to see and to try to understand why that is and how their culture is, what they find funny or, or, or kind of messed up. So I'm gonna do more of these because I like, it's kind of more diving into more of like a cultural thing, I guess, instead of like the typical, you know, history or geography that I, I do or sports even. So let me know what you think. And until next time, thanks for watching. We'll dive into more of these and have a good rest of your day.